This week's Ask Dr. Drury comes from a lady who wants to know, if I'm found to have a, a MRD negative test in my bone marrow, minimal residual disease test uh, negative in the bone marrow, does that mean that I might be cured? Well, obviously, this is a very crucial uh, question and one to which we are uh, desperately seeking to find the correct answer. Uh, the, the current answer is that we really uh, don't know for sure, and so uh, this is something that is very much uh, at the forefront of research. What we do know is that sustained MRD negativity is what we're looking for. Uh, we know that uh, there can be a dramatic response to therapy and often to an MRD negative level where there's no evidence of myeloma in the bone marrow, but in some cases this may not be sustained over time at one year or three years or five years. And so the first key point is that one test for MRD negative is not enough. Uh, there needs to be a sustained uh, pattern over time. The next uh, key point is that there are many factors that would influence the likelihood of having a sustained MRD negative result. Obviously it's influenced by when is the aggressive treatment started. So in the CURE trials uh, we're looking at this closely and start the treatment very early in patients who have high risk smoldering multiple myeloma which gives an added advantage in terms of uh, potential better outcomes. But it's also important to be aware that the type of treatment is important, which combination of novel agents is used, and also the underlying risk factors of the patients. Patients who have higher risk features, such as 17P minus or 414 translocations, would be less likely to have a sustained MRD negative result. But in the realm of MRD testing, the most fundamental point is how sensitive is the test. And so if the test is negative uh, with uh, zero cells being present uh, out of one million counted, this is excellent and this is called negative at 10 to the minus six. But let's say you count 10 million cells, which requires an extra uh, large sample of 30 million cells, then this could be negative at what's called 10 to the minus seven. And we now know that this is particularly good and predicts for a long sustained MRD negativity. If in addition, the PET-CT scan indicates no evidence of disease inside or outside the bone marrow, this is really especially good. And so you can see from my comments that there is a lot of work to be done to assess the types of patients who might have sustained MRD negativity and might be cured, and also to assess the very excellent levels of MRD uh, sensitivity that would indicate uh, the best uh, potential long-term outcomes. And so really, uh, the simple answer is that a single MRD negative uh, does not yet mean that a patient might be cured, but over time, we will hopefully refine MRD testing such that it will be truly predictive of excellent long-term remission and potential cure.